So here we are in the nucleus, okay? So this is a little bit of review. So we're at the transcription process here where we're making our piece of messenger RNA. And here is our messenger RNA, this large green, green, this large brown um, blob here is our, is our RNA polymerase. And this will separate our DNA and then those free nucleotides will complementary base pair to their complements. And then the RNA polymerase will also make sure we connect our nucleotides together by attaching the five, I'm sorry, the three prime carbon here to the phosphate of the next one. So that's review. I hope that made sense to you and it should. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, play this a little bit. So, uh, and I'll maybe erase some of these arrows. So there's our uh, messenger RNA. It will be modified by taking out those introns, which will stay in the nucleus. And the uh, exons will be part of our mature piece of DNA. So that would be considered DNA, mature piece of RNA. So there we have our mature RNA. It will leave the nucleus through a nuclear pore. And it's going to find a ribosome. They do not swim like that. Or maybe they do. So there we have the large subunit up top, the small subunit here, our messenger RNA. And I want to talk about this guy real quick. This, this is called transfer RNA, abbreviated tRNA. And there's only um, two things we need to know for the core material. There's another thing that I'll bring up later uh, that's important for the HL. But anyway, there's two parts here. There's only things we need to worry about is this, that is a very bad arrow. On the top here, we have an amino acid. The amino acid is specific for a specific transfer RNA molecule. And down at the bottom, we have our anticodon. And our anticodon is the part of the transfer RNA that will complementary base pair to the codon on our messenger RNA. So this, and you should have guessed already, will complementary base pair to the messenger RNA with the code A-G-U. All right, let's move on. I'll do some erasing. So there it is, connecting, um, connecting their complements together. You can see right there, we have A-U-C on our I have to erase that on our messenger RNA, complementing to UAG on the transfer RNA molecule, also bringing that amino acid and forming a peptide bond between them. There's our peptide bonds forming up there. And this will continue until eventually you reach a stop codon, which we don't see in this picture. And the polypeptide is released and will form, voila, its three-dimensional shape to become our protein.